Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing another decluttering video. I know that I said in my original decluttering video that I was going to use that intro for everything, but then I rambled on a lot about my new lighting and all this new stuff. So I thought I would refilm a more like condensed version for you guys. So this will be the same intro now that you'll see throughout all my decluttering videos. If you're looking for what kind of declutter I'm doing, check in. I like how I'm pointing here, but I'm pretty sure the title's actually here. Uh, check that out and you will find out what I'm decluttering for the day. Um, I'm basically doing this just to pare down my collection a little bit. It's getting a little overwhelming, giving me a little bit of anxiety, and it's time that some of these drawers get cleaned out. As I'm going through, you'll see that I'm going to separate the makeup into stuff that I'm keeping, stuff that I'm not 100% sure about, so I'm going to leave it out and make sure that I try it out and see if I really like it or not, stuff that I'm going to be giving to friends and family and stuff that is going to be going in the garbage. Um, yeah, so if you like these decluttering videos, then just keep on watching. Okay, so this is kind of gonna be like a bit of a catch-all one. This is all of my, also if you can see my foot, I'm so sorry, I'm just kind of like hanging out now. Um, so this is gonna be like, um, just pretty much everything that was in my top drawer that's not concealer. So I've got a ton of like moisturizers and tweezers and tools and stuff. Also in here are going to be all of my setting sprays and my um, setting powders as well. And like I said, my primers and whatnot. So we're just going to kind of go nuts here. Um, I don't know how much is really going to get gone from this drawer other than stuff that I'm probably going to throw out because a lot of it's been in here for a long time. So first things first, this Avene uh, Eau Thermal like spring thermal water, it hasn't even been opened. This stuff is fantastic. I'm definitely going to be keeping that. Um, Grabbing a couple tools out just because it's easy. So I've got a sharpener and a couple pairs of tweezers. Those are going to stay way over here. I can see that I've got a couple like beauty blenders. This one's obviously a real beauty blender. I think this was like a Quo makeup sponge. I'm gonna keep that as well. Um, what else? So I have these two sets of makeup brushes here. Um, I'm just gonna put these to the side for now. These are brand new out of like a uh, boxy charm. These were from like a Mac kit a while ago. When I do my brush declutter, I'll kind of figure out what I'm gonna do with those. But for now, they can kind of go to the side. I have these Shea Butter socks. I do want to keep these. Um, I've used a pair before and I absolutely love them. So I'm definitely gonna hold on to those. Um, I've got a bunch of these like eye masks. Um, which are nice, but like I just don't really reach for them. So I think I'm gonna pass these on. Um, I just don't reach for them all that much. So I'm just gonna put those to the side so they can get given away. I have this crazy pair of eyelashes up here that actually shouldn't even be in this drawer, but um, we are gonna go ahead and keep these. Uh, I don't know when I'll ever wear these, but probably for like a fun makeup look. They came out in the holiday collection last year. They've got like a silver band on them. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I'm gonna hold on to those. Hmm, I'm trying to stay away from like my primers and stuff and do those sort of like separately after. Let's empty this and just see what's in here. I've got this Biore self-heating one minute mask. Uh, I am going to try this out, especially because it's like a one-time use thing. So I will keep that and try and remember to use it. This Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist Mist Mist. Uh, I'm going to pass along. I don't remember when I got this. It actually might be expired. Much like this little like deep dive cleansing gel. I love both these products, but I just they're getting lost in this drawer. So I'm gonna pass both these along. Um, I am gonna keep my Caudalie uh, Vino Source Moisturizing Sorbet. I have a small one and I also have the larger size. I really, really like those um, moisturizers, so I'm gonna hold on to those. I also really like the Bliss Triple Oxygen Energizing Vitamin C Day Cream. That's gonna stay. Um, I've got a couple Glam Glow masks that I want to keep hold of because I really like Glam Glow products, so those are gonna hang out in there as well. Um... Double action detox peel off mask. I don't remember how I felt about this. Uh, I'm gonna just hold on to it and finish it up because it's just a small little one. So I am gonna use that up. This is a serum. I don't really have a lot of serum, so I do wanna hold on to that one. Um, this bouncy mask, I'm gonna pass on. It's nice, but again, like there's a lot left in here. I don't think I'm gonna use it. Skin Perfecting Lotion by Murad. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pass this on too. I prefer like moisturizers more like this where they're more like water bombs. This is my moisture infusion 
um, from Mac Prep and Prime. So I'm gonna hold on to this, but get rid of the Murad, which is crazy because this stuff is like apparently super expensive. So I'm gonna pass that on. Okay, I've got a ton of these like mud masks. Um, I'm gonna hold on to my Bosha one because I really like this one and I'm gonna pass on the rest just because I think I have a backup of this one as well and that one seems to be my favorite. Uh, so these ones I'm gonna pass along to somebody else. I just don't need them. These little like uh, strobe creams, again, gonna pass on. I'm gonna finish up this by, well, you know what? This looks like it's gone. I can't tell. And eh, no, it might be all right. I'm gonna keep on to that and finish it up. I was gonna say it looks like it's gone off, but it actually looks okay now that I shook it up. Um, these like pep start stuff, I'm honestly just gonna throw out. I never use these. I hate getting them. So those are gonna get thrown out. This uh, paint pack serum control, I'm gonna throw out as, or not throw out, pass along. Uh, skin renewal booster, pass on. Truffle therapy, pass on. Okay, we're almost out of like the nitty gritty of all my moisturizers and stuff. This vacuum cleaner pore purifying mask, I haven't tried out yet. I am gonna hold on to this. I wanna give it a shot. Um, this pore perfecting exfoliator, I'm gonna do the same thing with. And this needles no more baggage, uh, eye depuffing, especially because I had to uh, give up my MAC under eye fast response cream. This is definitely gonna do this. Um, I have this deep cleansing exfoliator, but they gave this to me a long time ago, so that's gonna get tossed. I have this Laneige Malta Berry Yogurt Mask. Okay, I remember this. Yeah, I remember this smelling really good. Like I wanted to eat it. Um, I'm gonna pass this on. I don't think I'm gonna be finding myself using this. So that's gonna go there. These are already open and I can't remember when I opened them. So I feel like I should toss them. Okay, what else do we have? This feels like there's nothing in it. Oh, it's sealed, so this is obviously still fine. What is it? Moisturizing mask. Um, I will keep this because I like Caudalie a lot. What are you? Okay, Grown Alchemist Polishing Facial Mask. I've kept a lot of masks, so I think I'm gonna give this one away. Uh, this one's still sealed and full, so that's great. The two things I have left is Blue Lotus Seed Mud Mask. Hmm. It's open 18 months. Okay, there's no way it's older than 18 months. Uh, I'm gonna try this and keep it and see. And this Visante exfoliating cleanser, I'm gonna keep as well. Um, just because I don't have a ton of those. So I'm gonna push that all to the side. We're gonna bring in the primers. Okay. Oh, here's another pair of tweezers. This is obviously some primer. I said I was gonna try and never did. So that's gonna get tossed. Okay. This primer is brand new to me, this pure one. I'm gonna take it out. It's a correcting primer and it's supposed to be the hydrating one. And I bought it because Smashbox uh, don't make their blue hydrating uh, photo finish anymore. And that one was my favorite. So I was hoping that this one maybe was gonna be similar. So I'm gonna try that out. So we're gonna keep that one. I also have my uh, Urban Decay Self Adjusting, Adjusting Complexion Primer. I really like this. I was wearing it today. I'm gonna keep that one. Cover Effects Blurring Primer, gonna keep that. I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, Primer and Moisturizer, keep that one, I really like that. I'm going to put this in my Use Up because it's almost done and I do really, really like it, but um, I'm gonna just use that one up and then as I, sorry, I just remember there's more primers behind me. Um, as I, um, use it up and use up more primers than I can buy more. So I have my two hourglass ones. I have the mineral veil primer um, and I have the uh, primer serum, the number 28 primer serum. I bought travel sizes because they're so freaking expensive and I'm definitely keeping them because I love those. I have this Mac, um, what's this called? Prep and Prime Pore Refine Stick. This is fantastic. Kind of blurs out all of your, I'm gonna kind of show you guys what it does. My hand is stained, I apologize for that. So it kind of just like, blurs out I don't even know if you guys can see that it did anything it just sort of blurs out all of your pores I really like this um I wear it under my makeup pretty much every day so that I'm gonna keep I just recently got this Becca velvet blurring primer I'm really looking forward to trying that out it's just a little sample size um so super excited for that Let's see if I can fit more stuff in here there we go um 
this benefit pore professional it has to have gone bad by now and I don't really ever use it and I got it a really long time ago so I'm going to throw this one out this one I bought on my own but again I don't ever use it so I'm going to pass this one on um this should have been in the moisturizer this is my Hanalei soothing moisturizer I love this I'm going to finish that up this Caudalie is another serum that is going to go in the same place use that up this Oriza Beauty, uh, I tried this in a recent video and I didn't like it, so this I'm gonna get rid of. Dr. Brandt Pores No More. Yeah, it's just another pore filling primer. I'm not a big fan of these, so I'm going to pass this one along as well. I have these three here and all three are almost all used up. So my Too Faced Hangover Primer, I'm gonna put in that same basket to use up. This is my Natasha Denona Face Glow Primer, same thing, this is like, like I'm literally just scraping the side now. Um, so when this is used up, I'm not gonna repurchase it either. And this Marc Jacobs one, um, I'm gonna keep using, but it might have gone bad. I can't tell. Uh, it smells off, but it always smelled off. So I'm just gonna keep using that until it's used up. Um, and then I just have this Becca backlit filtering primer and I love this. It's super glowy primer. So I'm gonna keep that as well. So pretty much no primers went away. Just a couple pore refining ones. Uh, the same is gonna be of my setting sprays. I cannot see myself letting go of any of these, to be completely honest. I love all of them. So I've got my Marc Jacobs Coconut Water. Um, again, this might have gone off, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna keep this and hopefully I can, I would say hopefully I can use it up, but like you guys can see, like I haven't used a whole ton of it. Um, this is obviously brand new. This is the Kat Von D Locket Setting Mist. Uh, I'm definitely gonna keep that. I thought I didn't like this Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray, um, and it turns out I kind of do like it, so I'm gonna hold on to that one, hold on to my Hangover Setting Spray, another one I love. And then I have all these MAC ones, so I have MAC Charged Water, um, which they don't even make anymore. I am going to, does this go bad? Probably, but I'm gonna keep using it, it's just water, um, pretty much, so I'm gonna use this until it's gone. And then I have these two Fix Plus, um, like gold light and pink light they're both gonna stay and then i have this mini prep and prime that i use for travel and then i've got a big prep and prime these are both the coconut ones so like when this one's empty i can refill it with this one so all of those are saying so we made no progress there okay now on to setting powders um this is not a setting powder this is actually a highlighter i'm like 90 percent sure oh god yeah oh i regret my decision hold on I mean, having said that, it is really, really pretty. I'm sorry if you can see all these lines here. It's just because there's shadow coming down from my lights. Um, it's a really, really pretty color. Uh, I've never used this. I kept it because I love the packaging. I've actually never seen how it works, and I kind of liked it, so I actually might keep that. This is a backup to this one. This Laura Mercier one is almost empty, so I just have a backup. This is the translucent one. Um, oh, there goes crud all over that. This Laura Mercier one is the Translucent Glow Setting Powder. I adore this, so that is also going to be staying down to these three. Okay, so these two are like translucent ones, and then this one is a colored one. So I'm gonna keep the colored one. This is in the shade medium. It's a MAC, um, I don't even know what this is called, loose powder in medium, mineralized foundation in medium. I'm gonna keep this because I do like that it kind of evens out my complexion a little bit, and I think I'm gonna pass on both of these ones. Um, there's nothing wrong with either of them per se, I just prefer the Laura Mercier one, and I constantly am reaching for that and not for either of these, so for that reason, I'm gonna pass those on. So, this is the pass along pile, that is garbage, and then that is for me to try out. I also have this, this is a Another Bosha thing, and the real reason that I wanted to, again, to see if I can get it out with one hand, go through that drawer is because I wanted to be able to put this away because this has just been like sitting. How much you want to bet all the names from when I drew lipstick colors are still in here? This is the box I used. Um, see, I have all these Bosha things, so I wanted to be able to take them out of here and just see what of this I would like to keep and then what of this I wanna pass on and then we can get rid of the box. So there is this charcoal, what is this called? Pore pudding wash off treatment. 
Um, yeah, we'll try that out. Let's see how it goes. This is a revitalizing black hydration gel. That sounds interesting. Keep that one. Thermal black cleanser. Sure. Pretty sure I'm keeping all of this. Uh, I am going to pass on this black mask just because I have a full size of the other one and I really like this so somebody else can use it. And then I've got this mattifying treatment primer. I'm not a big fan of mattifying primer so I am actually going to pass that on. And this is what we are keeping so I'm going to put it back in the drawer and I'll show you guys what it looks like hopefully like less of a disaster. Okay so already I feel so much better about this drawer. There's actually space in the drawer. I can actually see everything before this drawer was just kind of like a cluster of stuff that I hated opening. Um, so now I can actually get to everything that I need. I still have a little too much of some stuff, but that's okay. And here is the rest of this drawer. I made sure that this was out, so I made sure I actually used it. I'm not too sure if it's supposed to be used, like a like shimmery uh, setting powder or a highlighter, but at least this way I will get use out of it. So that's what that drawer looks like. Alrighty, so we are all done doing the primers and whatever. Uh, else I did I feel like I did a pretty good job of this so yeah if you guys like this video then give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel I'd really appreciate it and I will catch you guys next time